Hi, I'm uh, going to show you something today, real simple, but uh, and I'm going to talk a little bit about details, real small things that make a difference in a pot. I've thrown some cups here. Here's a square cup I, I did, which I just thrown in the wheel and then I pulled my finger up four times to square the cup off. Put a few little lines in here just for detail. These are, this is going to be in the soda firing. But I wanted to show you first the rim of the cup and see how that rim just folds out slightly and comes out, just rolls out. And that makes it nice so the liquid will just pour right over that, that fold and go into your mouth just the way you want it to. Um, I'm going to pull a couple handles, or I'm going to pull a handle and apply that handle and then talk about the details of the handle as well. So I've rolled out a piece of clay like this, and I've rolled it just tubular, just basically um, nice and even, uh, top to bottom. And I'm going to wet my hand, put it around there, start pulling on it. And as I'm pulling, I'm, I'm twisting it around. And I'm also not pulling all the way down to the end. I'm just pulling to there. See how the end is staying thick, and then the, the waist of the piece is getting thinner? Keep turning it around. I get it to the thickness that I want it to be. And then I start using my thumb on it, like that. Actually, this is more clay than I need. That's okay. So you, I'll, I'll probably switch to a different handle because this is big. And it's, I'm turning, I'm flipping it around and pulling on one side, making that a nice strap. Then flipping it over and turning to the other side making that nice and even. And I thin it a little bit more with my fingers like that. And see how it's thick up here? It thins out and it gets thick again. And then on the sides, the same thing. It's thick up at the top, it thins out, makes a waste, and then it comes out again. And then finally, if I want to get some detail to it, I can take my thumb, the thumbnail, and I'll pull down like that. You get these little ridges that the glaze is going to sit in real nicely. Then go over it very gently with your hand, and that's ready. I just hang that like I hung all these handles down here. Let it sit up for a while, and it's ready to put on the cup. In the meantime, after I pulled, this was 22 handles. I pulled them, and I went over and trimmed the cups. The cups are all sitting over in the wear board. And then I uh, start with the cups. I start the beginning, the handle that I pulled first, and then we're going down the line. All right, now I'm going to put a handle on this square cup, squared off cup, and here's one that I pulled. You can see it's thicker at the front, at the top. And if I want it even thicker than that, I can take a paddle or a roller, one of these, we call them pony rollers, but the, I'll use the paddle and just thicken it up a little bit like that. And I could do the same thing at the other end. I want to, but well, let's do it. See what happens. Okay, you can see the little lines in there. Very, very shallow detail. And I'll take some slip, put it on the handle, put it on the cup, top and bottom. Hold it in my hand like that, and push the handle onto the cup. And sort of push and twist. Pressure is really important. That really gets it seated on there. And you can feel the slip grab, and it's going to hold it tightly onto the cup. Then I flip it around, and I look at the bottom, and I want to make sure that that sort of splays out there. I'm taking my thumb, and I'm moving it out toward the cup. So that it makes a nice transition from the handle back down into the cup. But I don't want it blended into the cup. You may want to do that, and a lot of people do, but I want mine. I want, want to see a seam there. I'm going to fold it around like that and bring it back into the cup. But that's a little bit thick for me, so I'm going to do a little bit of a pull on it. Oops. I just missed it. ran my thumb into it. Well, hopefully I can take that out. And this is a little bit long, so it's going to end up being more like that. You can see that's the, I hit my thumb right there. <laughs> Do these things when you're making videos. <laughs> it's okay. I'm going to cut that off a little bit. And I'm blending that into the bottom of the cup. 
Now, there's a line right there that I don't like. I could have taken that and flipped it all the way around and brought it straight into the cup, and I would have had basically the same transition in the, in the bottom as I do um, in the top part there. But what I'm going to do, I'm going to fill that in. And this, that handle's so wet, I'm not going to use that cup. But here's another cup that hasn't been filled in. I don't always do this. Sometimes I'll flip the handle uh, in so that it's uh, um, filled in just by the way that I position the handle. But if I put it on at an angle like that, it's not filled in that way. So I've just rolled out this sort of football shape. And I'm going to squeeze it so that it's now thin at one side and thicker on the other. Take a little bit of slip and drop down there in between the uh, handle and the cup. And then slide that right into that position. Push it down slightly and then just push, pull it over with your finger like that around do the same thing on the other side like that now you've got that top part up in there that's not smooth at all just take a wooden tool wooden dowel that's been sharpened and then pull it into the body of the cup and then pull it back into the handle there you got a nice smooth transition now Thick up here, thick back down there. I'm going to take my thumbnail, pull that in like that. Maybe take a sponge and clean it off just a little bit. That's basic. That's done now. I might, I could add, some people hate this, but sometimes I'll put a little thumb grip up at the top as well. Probably won't on these. Just keep them simple. But that's it.